This episode of Royal Key is brought to you by Bet Online. BetOnline.ag is more than just an online betting platform. They boast a focus on the player approach and have built their reputation on offering clients nothing but the best. From cutting edge technology, enticing promotions, and the latest sports betting odds, Bet Online, the best online betting site on the internet. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video for your chance to win this South Carolina football pack. What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here in Columbia, South Carolina with my man, Larry of USC. What's going on, man? Not much, what's happening? Oh, everything's good. Now, some people on this side of the, the nation call it the real USC. Well, yeah, we're the USC. <laughs> nice, nice. Now we're here, University of South Carolina. You guys just built this place this past spring. So we're in for a very special treat. I'ma just let you guys know before we start this, this is the biggest, craziest, player lounge area we've ever seen. Yeah, we got anything from shuffleboard, pool tables, air hockey, recording studio. Tell me about this, because this, this made all kind of noise on social media when you guys opened this place. Yeah, this is the Darius Rucker recording studio. The players and other people just come in and hang out and try to make their own music and they're actually just having a good time. So that's basically what it was meant to be for. Right, now do they spend more time in here than any other place in this? player lounge? Yeah, they probably spend the most time in, in the recording studio. Now tell me a little bit about Darius Rucker and why this uh, recording studio is named after him. Well, he, he went to school here and then Hootie and the Blowfish got that started here and he just a big, you know, supporter of the, of the program. Now on to everything, you mentioned the shuffleboard, the pool table, what else can we find in here? Ping pong tables, video games, Xbox, PlayStation, air hockey, then you got arcade games over here. You got Golden Tee, Papa Shot, Pac-Man, and car racing where you can actually compete against each other. It gets a little competitive in here with the uh, Papa Shot and Golden Tee and things like that. This is not actually your film room, right? No, this is not like a team meeting room or film room or anything. This is just where if they want to watch a movie, they can put it on and it projects on the screen or if they want to watch a ball game, come in, watch it, basically just kind of hang out. So out of everything you showed us in the player lounge, what do you think the players use the most? I'm going to say recording studio. Oh, that's it. Huh? Oh yeah, they're all musical artists. So yeah. <laughs> Now we're in the locker room and this is our new lockers and everything like that. Up top, we got a shoulder pads area where it is vented and even the door has holes where it can get fresh air in and out. The lock box right here where you can plug in your phone, iPad, anything you want, lock up any valuables, another storage area here. And something unique that I haven't seen or worked with before until these were it's a hanging area for the players if they got coats or anything they want to hang at. at the bottom you got a vented area for all your shoes and things like that so if the shoes are damp or anything after practice they can dry out and right. keep the locker room smell out now this locker room in general is, is massive right it's huge by far it's, it's the best locker room i've ever been in just the functionality of it you know the traffic flows and the way it's set up and things like that to and from the practice field right now i've seen things on social but uh tell me how the players reacted when they first walked in here for the first time uh they were very excited because yeah. they didn't really know what to expect once they got here they just knew it was going to be new but didn't know what also in our locker room we got a barber shop they call it the the spur cuts usually uh, once or twice a week the players they'll get a barber to come in and they'll all line up and get, get their hair cut you said one unique thing they do is they actually write oh yeah they actually write their names on the on the window of who's in line to get their hair cut first all right this is like a little display room with several different options on uniform combinations and each one of these glasses it can be frosted or unfrosted and then you can also fix it where it's got a sensor. So if it's frosted and you walk by it, it's going to pop up. You can see into it now. As you can see, this is just some of the uniform combinations that we wear kind of the most of. Uh, how many combinations would you think you guys have? I, I think total there can be like 27 different combinations. Three helmets, three jerseys, three pants. What's the favorite of the players? I would say probably either all white or all black. Depends on who we're home or away. What's your favorite? Anything but, but white pants, you know. <laughs> 
You guys are actually the first Under Armour school that we feature. Describe how it is working with Under Armour compared to you know other brands. They're all very similar on the way they want to work with you. Mainly, they want to put their product on the field, and they really like you know for the feedback on what can they do better to make their product the best that it can be. Now here in the equipment room, on um, one section of our space savers is strictly nothing but player cubbies where. On Tuesday morning, usually I'll get the dress combination for the game. Each player has their own cubby where I can put all three of their helmets, then all their jersey that they may have needed for a game. I can come and start pulling for each player and having that ready for that weekend's game. Now seeing that this facility is brand new, functionality wise, what changed from the, the former equipment room to this one? Oh, hands down space, space, and just right down a hallway, we can load up our 18 wheeler for road games. You don't have to push the trunks and things a long way and you got room to operate. All right, Jeff, I feel like we're now in the best weight room facility in the nation, am I right? Oh yeah, one of the nicest weight rooms. I mean, it's about 30,000 square foot weight room, natural light, everything, 40 foot high ceilings. We got a total of 20 workstations here, 20 customized Sornet racks. It's the best, man, it's the best. Only the best for the best. You know, they come in and get that work in and invest the time in here. And you know, biggest thing with South Carolina is we want to invest in them so then they invest time in here to put the work in to be the best. Talking to the architects and stuff, we told them, we we want to build something that's never been built before. I told him I want the loudest sound system. I want the best video boards. I want high, high ceilings. I want everything. At the end of the day, all this is for recruiting, really. Doesn't matter how it looks, it's how you use it. Yeah. And you know, there's places I've been where I had a little small 4,000 square foot weight room. This is 30,000. I've had 4,000 square foot weight room. You can still get the work in. Yeah. And you got to put the work in no matter what. Everything we do in here is about life. Yeah. Okay. Life ain't easy. Uh huh. Got to earn everything you do. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, gotta yeah. put that work in, right, right. nothing's given. Yep, and that's what we tell every athlete that comes in here, you know, that we're gonna work your heart, we're gonna coach your heart, but at the end of the day, you gotta earn everything in life that you do. And you know, we're gonna love your heart too though, cause at the end of the day, we care about every single body that comes in here, works, cause they dedicate all their time and three to four years here, but it's not three to four year commitment, it's a lifetime. Correct, correct. Now, one reason why you guys have a, an amazing weight room is the uh, connection with Sorenix, the architects behind it. Give me that, that relationship between USC and, and Sorenix. I love it. Sorenix, Burton Richard Soren graduated from here, you know, so this is this is home. This is family. They're 30 minutes away in Irmo, South Carolina. Okay. So basically, I told them whenever we're getting a new weight room, I said, you got the racks, build me something special. Build me something that an 18, 22 year old kid or an adult walks in and says, wow, what is that? Mm -hmm. Well, what you see is, this is it. It's a cage and a half rack. It's got every toy you can think of on it. Okay, it's got jam arms on the back side. It's got 300 pound weight stacks on each side. You got pulley systems up top, pulley systems down low. Use your imagination and you can do anything on it. It's unbelievable. Everything customized wise. Let's talk customality. Right here, look at the game cock that's been laser cut in. If you look at colors, so every color has been picked out. So you got some washers that are black. Look at the washers that are the, the garnet color right there. You see it? Yeah. It's unbelievable. So then you got garnet on the inside, you got black on the outside. If you look at the, the name plates on the back side, you got Gamecocks, you got Carolina. I mean, there are all kinds of different little customality things that they did for us. It's just phenomenal. You got plenty of weight stacks. You know, we all about pushing that weight around here. So yeah. guess we gotta have plenty of weight to push. Places to store your chains, places to store your bands, belts. Right here is a soft tissue roller. So guys complaining about some soft tissue Issue stuff where the yeah. muscles are tight. We'll set this roller up here and have them roll out on it. Everything's about variations. Right, right, right. You know, there's a thousand ways to squat. Yeah. There's a thousand ways to bench. Mm -hmm. There's a thousand ways to clean. Yeah. There's a thousand ways to get stronger. So guess what? You got a thousand ways right here that you can do different things. Right, right. Game I'm putting you on the spot here, Coach. What you got? The toughest game cock you have in this program right now. Well, we got a lot of them, but uh, we got one that's a grinder, man. His name is Sedaris Hutchison. Okay. He's one of our offensive linemen. Yeah. He plays guard, he plays tackle. He squats over 600 pounds. Yeah. He cleans over 330. He benches presses over 515. Yeah. And he's a grinder, he's a road grader. When I teach every day and I tell my coaches the same thing, you know that feeling when you were a little kid and it was Christmas? and you were looking forward to that one present underneath the tree. Yeah. And you, you, you wake up in the morning, it's right there, and you get that feeling all over your body. Yeah. That's how I feel every day when I come to work. And not only being in a new facility, but just being able to teach young men. Right, right, right. You know, how to be men. Well, Coach, I, I say you have the best office that we've seen. That's what I'm saying, yes, sir. 
All right, Marcus, pretty much every program showcases their NFL guys in a different way. What is the Gamecock way? Tell me how this works. The innovative way. This is the 21st century generation millennial way. The whole idea behind this building, Coach Muschamp, our head coach, has done a great job of just marketing our program. And he understood that we needed a specific location where everything could be in one place. This is just a wow factor, to be honest with you. It's just an opportunity for people to see recruits, players, parents, the possibilities of if you perform at the right level, you do the right things in college, what's possible. And, and, and that's the NFL. And when you touch a helmet, and you hold your hand on it, on the screen, teams will come up. And what that does for a recruit when he's walking into this amazing facility, it's just the envisionment of being able to play at that level one day. It can happen if you do your job. Everything is strategic around here. So Marcus, where are we right now? This is nutrition, and this is where the guys actually eat breakfast. So we kind of wanted a common area where guys could just sit, mingle, get to know your teammates. Right, right. Uh, but also, we have food, and you know, food brings people together. These guys work really hard. All gas, no brakes. I mean, it's just, a, we mean that in every aspect of our program. Right. You know, when it comes to nutrition, in the weight room, whatever you're doing, make sure you're doing it with full intention. Obviously, you have to be fueled. You yeah. know, you, you can't put 87 in a Porsche. So I've seen a ton of quotes around here. All gas, no brakes, do your job. You played here. What is your quote that you kind of live by that you may have got from, you know, Columbia? It's a lot. And you know, I live by quotes. I really do because I think words subliminally and unconsciously can flow into your brain Correct. and it becomes a part of who you are. Yeah. And I mean, something as simple as finish the drill. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something I'll never forget Coach Spurrier used to say, my strength coach used to say, obviously we're under a new regime now with Coach Muschamp, but finish the drill. Those little sayings, they're there for a reason. Yeah. You yeah. know, so guys can see it and unconsciously take that on. Now, as we walk now here, this is all just stuff that makes you know South Carolina Gamecock history, right? Well, it makes you proud. Yeah. It makes you proud to be an alumni when you see different things like this. All the different all-conference players that we've had all the way from 1929 to present day. Me being one of those people that had the opportunity to put on the jersey and meet these people who paved the way for me, yeah. it just makes you more proud. And then obviously academics is something that Coach Muschamp stresses every single day. You come here to get a degree. And then we have all our All-American Gamecocks and create your legacy. You know, it's one thing that I'm very, very proud of. You know, my mom has an opportunity when she comes in here, she sees me on the wall. Yeah. You know, and all that hard work and relentless effort and the toughness and the discipline, all those words. We're just trying to create a culture where guys can see this, believe it, and eventually it manifests in their life. Well, thank you, man, for letting us come out and check out USC. I hear a lot of people, like I said, call it the real USC. I the real know. USC. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you letting us check it out. Amazing facilities, Thanks, arguably man. the best in the country. And uh, man, keep it going. Absolutely. Man. Thank you, man. Hey, for a special Gamecock fan, we're putting together a real nice package. I hope you guys enjoy it. And to find out how to win that packet, follow Koiski Media and George Kill 3 on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time, your host, George Kill. Thanks again to betonline.ag for sponsoring this episode of Royal Key. Join them today and use the promo code Royal Key for a 50% welcome bonus. Again, that's betonline.ag. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to see exclusive content and more Royal Key episodes.